Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings Overhill. Last episode we finished up by raiding this little elvish house here. And in this episode we are going to raid this elvish tower. These guys have quests, but they're probably not doable. I don't even know where you get that. It, look, it looks expensive, it's probably not great. And look at you with a horse. Uh, it's, I, I'm not going to go over this again. They want me to slay things, but they're the ones kitted out in full armor. I'm just sort of in leftovers that I found. So, yeah, we've got another hour of us running around, playing Lord of the Rings, doing what we're doing, raiding things. How oh, that's that's the window. I thought that was the door. Door's here. Hello, hello. We are raiding this elvish tower. It better not be the same as the other elvish tower that we raided, where it has absolutely nothing in it and it's a waste of time. But you know what, with my luck, that's probably exactly what it's going to be. Hello. So, oh, you've got a quest. What do you want? Eleven Malorn leaves. Um, I haven't been to Lothlorien yet, so I'm afraid I cannot do that. My dear elf, I'm really sorry. I can't do... Oh, there's more apples. We're just picking up random food as we go up here, to be honest. At least we get something out of this tower. Hopefully there'll be some chests, or at least something at the top, that we don't have already. Hello. What's at the top? Probably absolutely nothing, knowing the elves and their lack of hoarding. But we can have a look other, either way. Hello, you... No, I don't have enough alignment with you. But yeah, same as the other towers, not a whole lot up here. Pretty much the exact same. So that um, cancels out the need to go enough, to the other you. tower. So... Today we are going to get back to the road and continue on our way down to South Mithlond, get up and around the river and try and make it to North Mithlond in this episode. Hopefully further, hopefully we get there and hopefully we don't get too sidetracked with various different things. But it should be a fairly pain free excursion because we are in the land of the elves so we- ooh, there's a big elvish hall here. We are in the land of the elves so there shouldn't be too much nasty stuff around about the place. There's actually quite a lot of stuff to go raid. There's another little um, house over there we'll go and have a look at. But this is another one as well. So we'll go raid this one. Just the same as we've raided the others. There's a big double chest. Ooh, we got quite a bit of stuff. Is any of this better than what we already have? No, but we'll take the books. And the bread we'll take. And the arrows we'll take. We don't need any of this stuff. It's all deaths. It's all just damage attack sec uh, seven. We just like yeah. There's no. There's nothing here that we actually need. We can stick that in there. We got plenty of uh, things. Let's take some lettuces because why not? Apples and these. Oh, is this lembus bread? It is. So we will take the le lembus is good for eating. So we'll try and pick up as much lembus as we can. Put that in the food pouch. Uh, so we have some of that because Lembus is actually really useful to hold on. on. Oh no. Uh oh. Didn't want to do that. I didn't mean. Oh no. I've made a mistake. I don't want to kill too many of these guys. They're probably all mad at me now. Um, where do I go? Where's that other thing we want to do? It's over there. Okay, so we need to get out over there. <laughs> Let's put away the oh there's two of them. Let's raid this one first. And hopefully not get slain by any elves. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I was trying to get his lembus. Oh for goodness sake. Oh we got some boots. Some linden boots. Lovely. Feather I guess we can take. And nothing else that we really need. We don't really need the weapons. So we got some boots now, that's quite nice. They're just bog standard linden boots. And we'll go up to this other one that is kind of ruined. And raid that one. Let's put away anything that can cause us to hit people. Because we don't want to make enemies. We want to make friends. And by killing a linden elf, that's probably not the best way to make friends, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, we got a... Some sort of... Uh, that's just another silver ring that's gone straight into my inventory. Is that a swan feather? It is a swan feather. Interesting. Uh, more boots, more like in these. Any better than the ones we got? Normal linden boots and those linden legs are just normal linden legs. We got hardy linden legs there, so we don't actually need these guys. Put them back. And 
yeah, nothing else that we really need. How do we get back to the road? It's to the south. So it's directly in this direction to get back to the road. And yeah, there's not much else we really need to do in London apart from just raid little things like that and see if we can find any more armor and stuff that's better for us and raid these little big, big little houses. Little big house? I don't know. But yeah, hopefully not kill any more Linden elves and make them mad at us because that's just not a good thing to do. So that's the one we raided in the last episode. And do you guys have any quests for us that don't involve us killing anything? No? Okay. Right. we got a little ways to go. We're going to just... Linden's quite plain. It's very flat and open. There are some buildings, but not a whole lot. There's another building over there. I don't think I can be bothered to run to there. So we'll keep going and we'll make it... Uh, all the ways to South Midlo uh, South Mithlond. Make it there and get all nice and happy with the progress we've made this episode. Uh, yesterday there was an episode of this because I uploaded an episode of SMPDX. So if you're a regular of this series and we're looking forward to this, I'm sorry. But I do highly recommend you go watch SMPDX because I that's sort of where my more creative building side gets to be shown rather than my exploration side. So... If you like building, just go and have a look. And if you like watching my content in general, just go and have a look. And yeah, maybe you'll enjoy it and watch the rest of my SMPDX series. So you never know. They Those episodes take much longer to release. I'm back to school the day after tomorrow. So yeah, I've got not a lot of time to do more these episodes anymore. So I will try my best to get a free hour after school or something. But I highly doubt I'll have that. But, you know, I'll do the best I can. I guess I'll take the leather. I'm not going to question the origins of it, but I'll take it. I blame these cows. They're, they're quite mean. Can't ride them, though. Hello. The Aurochs. There's a deer here as well. Like, when we needed venison, there were no deer. And then we just run past deer every five seconds. I'm going east instead of west. I'm back in Tower Hills. Oh, Toby, you silly person. In fact, let's let's do a thing, because we don't have a craft normal crafting table. Let's make a crafting table. Let's get three leather. We are going to do something we should have done a while ago. So there we go. We need our valuables pouch. There we go. Can you guess what we're going to do? I think you can. Time to ride. Let's use the battle axe. And put that in there. You just seem awfully friendly, so we'll take you. We are getting a horse. Let's do it. Come on, stubborn. I think that's what I'm going to call you, stubborn. Stubborn the horse. There we go. Let's go. Oh, you're slow. Faster than walking, though. We got a horse. I'm on a horse. Oh, we got a Rivendellian arriving nearby. The Rivendell Wanderer. Where would you be? These don't look like Rivendells. Now these are Linden elves. I want to find uh, the Rivendell guy. Are these the uh, Rivendell people? Or are these more Lindens? Lindens. See, in a land of elves, it's hard to find an elf wanderer. Whereas in the uh, Shire, it was easy to find him. I, I'm not seeing him anywhere. Hello. No, it doesn't look like we're having, but they've kind of fixed up the lag problems with horses as well, which is good. Although this is an extremely slow horse. But we have a horse. We have Stubborn the Horse, which will probably end up dying before the end of next episode, a bit like Dora did, let's face it. 
I'll probably run off a cliff with it or something. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We look awesome. Let's get our battle axe out. Yeah, we look great. So there's more towers. There's donkeys over there. Hello, donkeys. Right. The lag problem hasn't been fixed when we're loading terrain. It's just when we haven't loaded the terrain... It's when the terrain's already loaded, it's fine, and then the lag comes when it's loading the terrain, which, I mean, you know, it's what it is. It's still probably faster than walking. And just probably a bit painful to watch, so I'm sorry about that. Not much going on. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all. Are these interesting people? Just more Linden Elves. I mean, there's... Yeah, I'm getting quite fed up with this laggy horse. I think I'm better off alone. I want my saddle back, though. Goodbye, stubborn. I didn't want you anyway. Just wander off there, make a new friend. We're better off walking, if we're going to lag like that. Right. Oh, where are we going? Oh, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And more of these Oryx here. Alright. There's not too much going on in Linden. As soon as we get to the Blue Mountains, that'll be something new. Ugh! Come on, up, up the hill, up the hill. Let's go. Ah, sprint. Okay, we got another one of these buildings off the road here. I mean, we'll may we may as well check it out. I don't see why we shouldn't. You guys look fancy. Hello. Let's put the battle axe away in case we smack any of them. But there are some people in here. Hello. Come to steal your things. What's this? A linden dagger. Don't need a dagger. Put you back. Another Linden dagger. Yeah, I don't need that. And Linden legs. Where the legs go? These are poor Linden legs. Minus one protection. Put them. You are a bad forge. Forger. I haven't been checking up the upstairs for things, have I? Oops. Well, you know what, it doesn't matter. And we can also sleep away the night here. It's his night. It's dark. There we go. Good night. Sleeping in your bed, don't mind me. Let's leave before we get shouted at. And back. go back to the road, which is south again. Let's go sort of in a southwesterly direction. So we do eventually meet up with the road again. Which is just here, so we'll move out into a more westerly direction. And keep running through Linden, because we're getting there. We're actually at South Mithlond, near enough. That's just down here, so... We've actually made it. We've done quite well. So we actually might make it all the way to the Blue Mountains. Which could be interesting, so... Yeah, we want to head north now instead of south, so that's the direction we will head. Just up here with this lovely little overgrown building here. Looking lovely. Should we have a look what this one has? May as well, it's just on the side of the road, so. Yeah, it's it's not too far. We may We may do quite well, so. What's in this one, then? Oh, a helmet. A lasting Linden helmet. Protection plus two. That's actually better than my helmet. And it looks cooler as well. Oh, wait. This has got plus two protection against projectiles. So, actually. Our one we've got on at the moment is better than this. But we will put that in there with this. Oh, we've got two of them now. Well, at least we have extra. And these boots, are they any good? Just bulk standard. Uh, a gold ring. We'll stick that in our 
Is that our memento pouch? Yeah. Well, that's where the rings go, and we got another Linden dagger. Stunted. Oh, that's also awful. These elves can't really forge. Like, you get sp this craftsmanship of elves. Oh, the Ranger's Guide Volume 3 again about herbs. We don't need another one. Unless we drop it and it gets picked up in the snack. In the stack. Not the snack. But, you know. Okay, I didn't hit anyone. I thought for a minute after I threw that, like, oh, we're going to hit them. Okay, we've actually got a stack of books now, so we can stop picking up books. Put them back. And leave again. Uh, where's the road? Oh, we're literally right on the road. How oh, there it is. Want to keep heading northeast, so that's this direction. And I'm looking at a fancy with my stuff on. I mean, this chest plate's almost dead, but we got a spare just in case. So, yeah, we don't we don't actually have too far to go. We just got to go a bit north and round. Why doesn't it just, like that's what I don't get is why didn't it go straight across the middle? I don't know. I don't know. They could have built a bigger bridge than the little one they have up north, but you know what? I don't mind. I really don't mind. It's a fun walk. And hopefully we will get some Linda Nails with quests they want to give us, like give them venison or something. Oh, it's a quest. What do you want? Three Linden spears. Well, we could have collected them, but we didn't because we're silly. Do we have any? Our equipment pouch. Now we have a Linden long spear, which is a different thing. So I'm sorry, my friend, that we cannot do your quest. I know it's a bit of a disappointment, but we can't do it. How far do we have to go? I keep checking. We're not we're not going anywhere if we keep stopping to check, so we'll just keep running. And follow the road as it goes. Because we've got like 40 minutes of just running to do, so... I mean, look at the coordinates. 16,400. I mean, we, we are going places. This world is absolutely huge. And a lot of it's quite flat, so that's quite nice. I like seeing the elves just in the trees, like in their natural habitat, really. It's just nice to see them off in the distance like that. Oh, is this the river that we're bordering now? Sort of along the side of. Would make sense. Oh no, that's just a little lake. Well then. Glad we got all this steak and stuff. We got a little bit of lembas as well, so that'll keep us going. Because lembas is absolutely incredible for f uh, food and saturation and stuff. So it's quite nice to be able to have. Hopefully we will find more of it on our way over here. I mean, the dwarves are going to have quite a bit of food as well for us to collect. So we shouldn't have a problem when it comes to food when we get to the dwarves. So it's more when we go through the brown lands and that that we need food. Like that sort of swampy area that doesn't really have too much. But you know, we've got a little ways to go yet. I like how these white sands on these uh, Linden Elf beaches and stuff. It's kind of nice. It's kind of tranquil is what uh, is a good word for it. But you know, it's quite nice. I keep thinking the little things on these guys' heads are uh, quests, but they're not. It's kind of annoying. More flags. There's absolutely... There's flags everywhere. I just wish you could get the string directly out of it rather than having to cultivate it, because that takes ages to cultivate flags, and it's really bugging me. Yeah, we're going plenty... Plenty quick enough to be able to reach the Blue Mountains this episode, I should think. Which is quite nice to do. And then, there's another tower, but we don't really need to go in that. What else is there to see? There's more towers here than Tower Hills. So, that's kind of strange. Any quests? Any quests? Any quests for me? No? Okay. 
What do, oh, we have something up here. Ah, there's one of these. These are quite good to raid. Let's go and have a look at this. Maybe we'll find some quests along the way. Because these things have chests, so... Quite good to raid, I guess. What do you have for us to raid off your kitchen table as well? Apple. Apple. Lettuce. Apple. Lembas. Lembas. Carrot. There we go. Lembas. Lembas. You got a chest around here. You got Hardy Blessed Linden Battle Shaft. Eh, maybe. Some Maruva as well. Uh, and upstairs there will be other stuff as well. But nothing too spectacular. So, there we go. And we'll go back over to this building over here. Find some more stuff. And stock up. How much Lembas do we actually have now? Seven. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. That will last quite a little bit. Let's... Use our hobbit pipe just to cool off a little bit by having a smoke. I love how you got a little pipe and we can just sit down and have a smoke for a bit. It's really great. Right, what do we have here for for having a look at? Oh, you got a quest. It's like 13 trolls whilst you sit here and make us... Ooh, bow. Linden bow. It's better than our ranger bow. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for the good bow. Looks cool as well. It's massive. So what do we have? More legs? Just basic legs. What do you have here? Plus one knockback. Mark. Yeah, that's not a very good dagger. Another swan feather we'll take. Put that in the backpack. Upstairs. Let's have a look in here. Another Linden Longshaft thingy. Not something you really want. So more of your stuff. These little buildings are the best to steal from. Got a nice sweet new bow, so... Thank you, random building, for our amazing new bow. Let's just... Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. There's another one. Let's go and have a look. This one's got leaves on it. There's loads of these buildings. I mean, there's got to be places for the elves to live, but... I mean, there's there's loads of these. They're incredible. Oh, it wouldn't be a Lord of the Rings episode without some downpour, would it? Of course not. We've got another swan feather, the normal feather, the arrow, and a spear of a description that we don't need. Hello, hello. Hello. Merging into one. Lovely that a Lord of the Rings episode includes weather. Ranger's Guide Volume 1. So we've got vol we've had Volume 3. Now we've got Volume 1. 18 pages! Okay. Are we ready? A Ranger's Guide Volume 1, Weapons of War, Staying at a Distance. This guide will, I hope, save your life. Whoever you are, whatever ages of the world may have ended or begun since the writing of this book, I hope it will guide you, aid you, and protect you. You, like me, are a man of the West, a Dunedain, a descendant of the ancient kings of Numenor. And from Numenor to Arnor, we protect the North. For the peaceful peoples that live here are unprepared for the violence of the enemy. And we strive to secure their safety, small though it may is, for every bastion of good, every denial of evil, renders Sauron a little less powerful. As a ranger, you have made your choice. You will protect our people, whatever sacrifices are required. You will protect others' peoples as well. This guide will help you do that. This particular book will cover the means by which you may kill or be killed from a distance as that is the first thing you must learn to protect yourself against. As a lone man in the wilderness, getting involved in a sword fight with orcs is, w is a sure way to let your pursuers catch you. So we make much use of the bow and the spear, and face retaliation in kind. The first and most essential weapon of, a war of ranged warfare is the bow. 
There's not. This is not just one type of bow. There are many bows you will come across in your travels. The first most important is your own bow. The bows we use as rangers are reliable wooden bows with good strength and swift drawing. However, our bows will shoot further than the or an ordinary bow. Stay away from your enemies and kill them from a distance. Many songs have been sung in honor in of honorable and valiant deaths in battle, but you cannot defend the free peoples by getting yourself killed in a sword fight, no matter how valiant you may be. Orcish bows often hit harder than ours, though they cannot shoot so far, so keep your distance. Should you ever see an enemy who, by the thumb feathered or fell treachery, has come to wield an elvish bow, run the other way. You will never outshoot them. Elvish bows shoot faster, hit harder, and fly further than almost any bow men have ever created. You cannot, If you cannot recognise the weapon, it is best to exercise caution. Bows are not, however, the only weapon you will encounter. If you see an enemy with a sling, it is most likely not an enemy, it is probably a hobbit. You will likely not see a poisoned dart blowgun, save if you should ever find yourself in the land of Gondor during attack by the Southrons. It has also been written that Woses, the wild men of Pulkeland, are known to use poison darts, but few of those folk have been sighted for a long age. Crossbows are slow to load, but hit heavier than the heaviest hitting of bows. Attack whilst the enemy reloads, but if you avoid getting hit by, uh, if you can. All Kish crossbows are famous for their ability to pierce even the steadfast armour of the dwarves, so beware. And above all, if you are shot with any small darts or orcish bolts, be sure to check the dart after removing it. It may have been poisoned. Finally, we have come to thrown weapons. You will not use any of these, save in the direst of needs. Rangers travel light. You cannot be throwing away your weapons... You, unless it is necessary. Chief among throwing weapons are spears and throwing axes. Throwing axes hit hard, but they can only fly a short distance. They are wielded by dwarves, but also the wild men of the Lone Lands and the North. Many orcs use spears, however. Spears are often inaccurate and do not fly far compared to an arrow and take time to throw, but all the same, you would do well to avoid being hit by one. You may also see a spear held in hand and used to stab at close range. Practice your skills, ranger, and obey your chieftains, for they are wise, and will become, when will help you become as wise as well. Whew! Okay, that was a pretty fun read, learning all about various different um, bows and spears and ranged weapons. That was quite entertaining, I enjoyed that. And yes, we have got an elvish bow, so we are basically the best. Literally, we have the best bow you can actually get. So, where's, where's the road from here? The road is west. So, it's just over here. And, yeah, it was it was a fun read. I enjoyed that. Like, 18 pages? Wow. I really enjoyed the read, though. Like, getting stuff like this is just nice to learn how... Ranger bows go far, orc bows hit heavy, and elvish bows basically do all three, so... Good to know. Crossbows are also good to know that orc ones pierce basically anything. And are basically the best. So, yeah, we, we've got quite good knowledge on ranged weapons now. So, basically, a bow is your best bet. Crossbows are kind of slow but are useful when the enemy's reloading. Never use a spear because they take time to throw unless you don't have any arrows or anything. And, basically, yeah. Keep on, keep on with the bow. So the Linden bow is going to be our weapon of choice for now until we find a better bow in means of probably like Rivendell or Lothlorien or something. But yeah, well, that was that's got me a bit out of breath reading that. I'm quite proud of myself for reading that though. Little bit, little bit of mistakes in there, and but it, it was decent. We're doing quite well. And we're about halfway through the episode, and we have almost made it up to the crossing of the river, which is good. It's good progress. We don't have any quests, though, which is kind of disappointing. We haven't completed a quest this episode, because all the quests have either been ridiculous or just wrong place at the wrong time, if you get what I mean. Like, okay. It's also raining, and I don't like rain. I know you guys in the comments don't like the rain either, so... I'm sorry, we're going to have to stick through it. Shelter under trees if we can. But if not, I've got I've got a helmet on and clothes. I'm fully armoured up, so I should be alright for now. 
And butterflies, let's... Can I chop them? I don't know why I like chopping butterflies. Annoying to hit, though. Very, definitely very annoying to hit. But yeah. One thing I do have to say is thank you for all the comments on my videos. Um, there's always the same people commenting as well. It's always the same couple people uh, commenting. The guy... Oh, what's his name? I think it's Ray, maybe. He comments on every single video on Lord of the Rings, and he thinks that I do a really good job at uploading them, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, there's other people who comment. Who's the other people? I don't want to forget people. Um, there's Exotic Burnsy, I think is his name. Maybe. He comments high on every single video. Or nuggets, or chips, or something random. It's just that's just him for you. And there are a couple others that I just can't remember my na their names for the life of me, and I feel really bad. But yeah, thank you all for commenting on most of my videos. You guys are like my super fans. It's great, and I'm glad you're enjoying Lord of the Rings. It's it's a lovely series that I love doing. So I'm glad you're able to enjoy it with me. It's rather nice to do, and I really do love it. It's just thank you is all I can really say. Don't know. Yeah, like, I genuinely don't know what else I can say. So, yeah. Not much else I need to say to that. Just a big old thank you to everyone who watches the every single one of these episodes. And everyone who watches every single one of my videos, if you, if you do. So, yeah, thank you. Big thank you to you guys. Comment down below, and I will be sure to reply to most of you, if I can. It depends if I get absolutely flooded or not. Got a quest? What do you? What would you like us to do? Ten Gundabad Wargs. Look at you with your horse, your armour, and then look at me with just my bog standard. Yeah, I think you'll do better at slaying the, org, uh, the wargs than me, mate. I think he'll do a better job. So, I know you're a bit lazy, you're a lazy elf, but... Be like the others and ask for some Lembas or something. Because I'm not going to be doing it. Especially in the state of armour that I have currently. So as you notice, the road is starting to curve more, meaning we are right on the straight to go over the road. We've gone from going northeast to northwest now. So we're getting there. We're going to be crossing the path shortly. Let's do some target practice with this bow. Oh, wow, that does go far. Okay. And shoots fast. And can kill a pig with two shots. Okay, I admit, the elf bows are quite good. Don't know how good they'll be against an orc, though. We'll have to see when we find more orcs. Because we're having it quite peaceful now, because we're running through Linden. But as soon as we get out of Linden and into the foothills of the Blue Mountains, which is going to be a long way. Uh, we will get some orcs. I know we will. But hopefully we'll have some dwarf friends that will help us. Because we're not the most popular amongst Gundabad, are we? So... I mean, I think it may have helped that we killed an, an elf, but... You never know. I mean, the Hobbits are definitely our biggest number one fans, so... Well, that's of course, we did all the quests for Gorbalus and whoever else, so... Guys, loads of uh, loads of elves here. Hello, hello, everyone. Any quests for me? No? Okay. See you around. See you later. Goodbye, everyone. Vailovanin. Vailovanin to you too, my friend. How? Whose road was this? Who was in charge of building this road? Who was in charge of building this part of the road? Because they didn't do a good job. I had to do the parkours to get up it. Okay, we're at the bridge. We are at the bridge. Crossing over into uh, the side of North Mithlund. So, wow, that's a big, big open river thing with a... Another bridge that isn't fully complete. Wow, okay. So this bridge is quite big. Incredibly big, actually. 
It's a huge river. You can see why they built it here and not down further down now. Because it is rather large. I mean, we could try and cut across. I think we're going to cr cut across. I think we're going to keep going uh, sort of northwestish, if we can, maybe. Or should we stick to the road? Um, I don't know. I feel like we'll encounter more if we stick to the road, so... Sticking to the road is what we're doing. I've decided. Admittedly, actually, we should cut across to get up into... Closer to the Linden Woodlands and stuff. That just cuts off a little bit of the corner. And then we'll be on the road for a while. So I guess we could cut off the corner. Well, we're going to cut off the corner then. We're going to go cross country for a bit. Be a proper wanderer. As long as we keep heading sort of west-ish, we should be fine. You stole my steak. Thank you. My steak. So we'll sort of scale through the trees and make it back to the road in a bit because this is the quicker way. Instead of going all the way down to North Mithlond and then all the way back up to Nogrod, we're just going to cut across and make life easier for ourselves, basically. I think that's a pretty good way to do it. I mean, it's going to be a little harder terrain, but you know what? I'm, I'm an adventurer. I'm a wanderer. I can do what I want, and we'll encounter random elves in the woods as well. Hello, hello. I want one of your horses. They look cool. I want some horse armor like that. But yeah, got a little ways to go. Hopefully we don't encounter anything that we don't want to see in the woods. I doubt we will. It's a linden woodland, so we're all right. Let's put an oak sapling down, pr uh, repair the pollen. And under the cover of trees, actually, it's all right. We don't really get the rain too much. So I think we made a pretty good choice coming through the woods. Although there isn't too much going on. So there's a grunt of some description. Wow, that's the sunset through there. That looks crazy. The colour of this woods in the sunset is lovely. I love it. So hopefully we'll end this episode off by making it back to the road. So if we head straight west, we'll end up there. So we'll sort of head on a sort of westerly direction if we can. Bird. And make it down there. Hopefully we don't have to cross too many waterways or anything. Try and stick to the land. I mean, we're moving quite fast here, so... It's definitely a shortcut, wor shortcut? shortcut worth taking. As long as we don't get lost in the woods and never find again. But we're in Linden, so it's not, it's not a bad place to get lost, to be honest. Ah, oh, perfect. We've got a lovely plane to cross now. Just after we cross this little waterway. Hopefully we'll be able to make most of it by jumping. Yeah, there we go. Nearly all of it. Didn't mean to do that. Put the reeds back down. Big tower over there. And a quest. Hello, random person. Let's... How do we get up to you? Alright, let's go this way. This seems a viable way up. Hello. We made it. I'm here. What do you want? One Angmar helmet. I haven't been to Angmar. I'm so sorry. You want a quest, though. You're, you're likely to be nicer to us. Two spruce hey, saplings. Um, I don't have any. But are these spruce leaves over here? No, that's a birch tree. Haven't seen any spruce trees, mate. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's a bit unfortunate, I know. These towers are crazy. They're incredible. I love them. Uh, we're making it. We're doing quite well. So we're going to the Blue Dwarven Road now. From the Great East Road. Doing a bit of cross country. 
She's alright. We're doing quite well as cross country. Just gotta remember to keep heading west. As long as we keep heading west, we'll be fine. Ooh, that's a new building. We haven't seen one of these before. Let's go and have a look, see? Let's go and have a nose around. I think this might be a smithy. Meaning there should be some goodies in there for us. Which is good. Yep, this is a smithy, so we'll take the Elven Forge, we need one of them. Not that one. We can reforge our stuff, actually. Should I reforge my Danish battle axe? Should we try? We need four coins. Costs four. We have four. Right. Can we reforge our bow? That costs nine. Let's let's try reforge the bow. Let's just grab all our coins out. I can't reforge it. Can you can you help us out? Uh, okay. So he, it's probably because it's his anvil. If we pick it up and place it back down again. Why won't it let us reforge it then? You have to put it in there. Nope. Okay, it's not. It's not being friendly. No reforging for us, I guess. Let's. Just, we'll, we'll just take your anvil instead. If you're going to be like that, anvil will take you. Come in with us. Alright, what do we have in your chests? Elven steel and some charcoal. I guess we'll put in the valuables pouch. Some coal as well. Valuables, in you go. There we are. Elven forge, you can go in the backpack. Nothing else? Okay. Hello. Maybe it's, maybe this one will work. No. It doesn't like us. This, this doesn't like us. Got to keep heading northwest anyway. We're actually halfway there. We're doing quite well. We should. We need to find a traveller who can reforge it for us. I don't know why we couldn't reforge it. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We had four, and we had our anvil and stuff. Maybe it was just because we're not good enough at reforging yet to reforge it. If that's even a factor. Got some houses here to raid anyway. Got a chest plate. Hardy. Plus six, plus six. 1.25, that's just normal. Well, we'll hold on to it in our equipment pouch until this one breaks. Uh, what else do we have, a sword? We'll put that in the equipment pouch as well. Another spear and another gold ring. Just hold on to another Mentos pouch. And upstairs, of course, you'll have some more stuff in your chest. Some apples we'll take, and lettuce as well. Hello. Let's leave again. Keep going in a northwesterly direction over to this house now. Having a lovely drink, are we? I see. Got a helmet. Just a normal linden helmet. Want the swan feather though. Want another feather. They like their feathers, don't they? Why do they have feathers? Is what I want to know. Small pouch, hold on to you. Some lembas. Actually, we have a medium pouch, don't we? We do, so we have another large pouch. There we go, we got another large pouch. What can we store in the large pouch now? Should we call it, like, crafting benches or something? Workstations is what we'll do. Workstation pouch. There we go. Workstation. 
So we'll put all of you guys in here. So now we have a place to store all of our like workstations and stuff in pouches. Which is good, and then the rest of the stuff is in here. It's random stuff in here. Because why not? That's quite good. Glad we did that. Back to a north northwesterly direction then. Keep going. Get in there. Oh, my back's achy. Why did I say that out loud on recording? Anyway, you now all know that my back's achy. From sitting at a computer all day recording and editing and such. We got another house and it'll be done. It'll, 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 it'll hopefully have some stuff for us. Oh, we got two as well. That's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. We got two of them. I already said that. We have one with leaves and one more well kept one. Oh, there's a third over there, but we won't go to that one. That's two. Out of our way, you got a quest. What do you want? Seven gold? Do we even have seven gold? We have two gold. I'm sorry, we can't. Ex we can't help you there. Got another ring, another bow, a strong linden bow. Ooh, yeah, that's better than the one we have. Put you back in there. Thank you for upgrading our bow. A tough linden helmet plus one protection. That's better than this. Stick this on. Uh, where's our equipment pouch? Put you in there. Thank you for the upgrade. Hello, dear. Hardy Linden chest plate. Don't need you. Got some Hardy Linden chest plates of our own. And a sharp sword. We don't. That's got plus eight attack damage. That's got plus eight points. We've got some coins though. Steal them. Thank you for the upgrades, my good friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we got literally a line of houses to do on our way to getting back to the road. That's brilliant. That's actually perfect. Makes up for not doing that one over there. But we're getting upgrades. We're getting upgrades, and that's good. What do you need? What do you have there? Sword. It's over here. It's a normal Linden sword. No thanks. Boots. Where did that go? Over here. Thick soled Linden boots. Plus four protection. Plus. Well, they're quite good. So. Thank you. We'll stick you in there. Another gold ring. And glancing. Plus two protection. No. That's plus four protection versus falling. And these plus, uh, plus two against protect. Well, we've got some against projectiles, so plus four against fallings. Nice. So. Uh, nothing here that we want except the apple. Don't want to throw a plate at you. So we will leave your house be, we will leave you alone, and we will just leave in general and go to the next house where we will continue to raid and pillage everything. And there's another one that we can raid. Well, we just got a straight line. They're all in a line. This is brilliant. Hello, everyone. So we got more feathers. Hold on to them. For when we come across flint or something and we can make arrows. Because we need arrows. And over this side, we got a spear and a helmet. Double check this helmet's not better than ours. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Over there? Just Naz bog standard Linden helmet. No, thank you. Not what we need. Up here we have nothing much apart from Lembas. Put the plate over on the floor over there. Turning into Logan Paul, smashing all these plates here. Oh, there's another smithy. Um, yeah, we may as well. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's a smithy, so they're quite they're quite good. Uh, for finding resources rather than forged weapons. But they're also good for forged weapons. So it's it's a worthy thing to go out of my way for. So, hello, random elves and such. What do we have in here to steal? We got an elven steel ingot. Two more elven steel ingots. Some coal as well. There we go. Thank you ever so much. I will leave you be now. Let's go to this house now. Over here. Or is this the one we just raided? I don't think so, because we went from the blue house to this one to this one. Okay, and we're actually getting nearer to the Blue Mountains Road, which is good. And what do you have in your house for us to come and steal this time? Got another feather. A sword. 
It's just a bog standard Linden sword. Chest plate. Tough. Oh, so this is better than the one we've got on right now. Oh, well, we're, all, we're wearing all Linden stuff. That's brilliant. And leggings are the better than my ones. Oh, okay. It's normal Linden leggings. So that, that's quite a nice... Uh, chest plate, it's got plus two against fire and plus one against just anything, so that's good. We got some nice gear now. We're making, we're getting better gear, it's good, it's nice. We've got more lembas with a plate to smash. Is there a statistic that how many plates are smashed? Because we would be smashing it right now. Deliberate pun, don't shout at me. Oh yeah, we need to put this in here. Dora's Pebbles. <laughs> Forgot about Dora. Poor Dora. Dora shall ever be remembered as our friend who died on the second day of being our friend. So, you know, we're, we're looking quite fancy. We fit in here quite well. Except we just need a Linden Battle Axe, and then we will, even though... Is, are there such a thing as Linden Battle Axes? We've got a strong Linden Bow, so we're quite nice. But, yeah. We have some nice forged armour. So this is what I mean by just going through and finding armor and finding the best armor, replacing our armor with better stuff as we go along. Because there is better stuff out there. There's always better stuff out there. It's a big tower looming out of the... Um, out of the distant horizon. Looming off the horizon is what I meant to say. Another house, straight west. Let's go. These houses are honestly the greatest. Just finding new stuff in these Linden houses. They're lovely. Got a big building over there we will go check out as well, which is lovely. That'll be good thing to check out. We've got another big building there, so we're doing fairly decently with these. Hello, hello. Knock, knock. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got one of these things. All right, we'll hold on to that. I'm, I'm going to put that in the valuables pouch because it's shiny. And it looks valuable, so... What do, you, what do you have on... Really? Through the window? Hardy. What do we have on at the moment? Hardy. Oh, so they're the same. We don't need them then. Upstairs we go. Up to your chest. You got more arrows, which is nice. More bread. Put the plate on the floor. How many arrows do we have? 27. Okay, so we're doing decently with arrows. Um, let's go for this one and that one. And then we will be doing well. So, these things don't have too much other than... They don't have anything upstairs, that's what we got to remember, so we don't go upstairs. These things are just good for stocking up on food. Yep. Walk on the tables a little bit, don't mind me. There we go. And we got a chest around the back as well, which has stuff in it. Arrows. Money. Just a normal Indian bow, some bread and stuff. So we got plenty. And now we're heading over to the other one. Oh, no, that's a different one. We'll go back to this one, because that's... That's northwest. That's south. So, no, we'll, we'll continue this way, because this is actually the way we want to go. Rather than going back to that other one. We're almost at the road. The road's literally just over here. Brilliant. We'll make it to the road for the end of the episode. Amazing. Right. Let's have a look. What do we have to steal here? I love Annin. I love Annin to you too, my friend. Thank you for hooking me up with all this lovely food. Lena Thamli. Lena to you too. A medium pouch. No, we won't. We got we got plenty of pouches now. I've decided. We. Yeah. Why is that in there? No, that goes on the floor. Let's run to the to the road through this thicket of trees. To the road through. Oh, we got a quest. What do you want? I admit I'm more armored than you, but 25, and we haven't even been to Angmar yet. Bit of a hard bargain that. I'm sorry. Uh, got a bit of frame rate lag. Got another smithy. That's a good thing. To the smithy. 
which is what exactly what we want to do. And there's the road as well. Brilliant, brilliant. Hello, hello. Let's, let's take your stuff. Some bronze and some elf steel and some tin. Charcoal and coal. We don't have tin or bronze in there yet, so we'll stick them in there. And this is actually quite a good place to take a thumbnail in this doorway, so let's F5 it. We haven't got the thumbnail for this episode yet. There we go. That's quite a good thumbnail. There we go. Back to the road. And we got a big building to end off the episode in over there. Brilliant. So we've made it back to the road. We're almost in the Linden Woodlands. That's for next episode. Next episode we will most definitely be visiting dwarves. We spent a couple episodes in Linden. So we will be most de definitely visiting dwarves next episode. And I'm sure we'll spend a couple episodes in the Dwarven Kingdom. Actually we may only spend just one. Because we've not got too far to go through the dwarves. So we will see. We will definitely see. But we will be back in Linden shortly. We will not be... Let, uh, gone for too long from Linden, so. I mean, if you ever wanted food, Linden's the place to go. Linden the Shire. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for food. We don't need any more, do we? We just can keep sticking up. And we got a letter from Elrond to Gilgalad. Ooh, that's a good place to end. So. Let's take up a seat on the stairs. Actually, let's get back to the road. Let's end off on the road after reading a letter from Elrond to Gilgalad. Elrond, son of Erendil, to Gilgalad, son of Fingon. May the valor keep you and no shadow fall upon the fair realm. The news from Erejon is not good. Our fears have realised, for the shadow is led by a servant of Morgoth, his lieutenant Sauron, and the uh, Sauron the Abhorred, formerly known to us as Anatar Ulendil. He has swept into Eregion and has sacked the Graith I Midain. A Selembrimbor was captured and put to death. We will. We few who remain owe our escape to the valiant assault by the dwarves of Hadhodrond and Celeborno Lorien. I have led the rest of the host northwest and in retreat, and in the hopes of finding a hidden refuge. But Sauron has turned from us, sending but a small force to harry our movement. He now marches with haste across Ariador towards the last fair realm. I advise you to send word to Numenor. Muster your strength. Aranin. I... Manwe Berio Lenu Eru May Manwe keep you under the one. Well then, we got another memento for our mementos pouch. We're stocking these up quick. Gonna have to get a second mementos pouch at this rate, but Wow, what a what an insight. Like you get a much better insight into it here, which is great. I love this mod. It's furthering my knowledge on Lord of the Rings as well. Which is brilliant. Through a video game, which is even better. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings. I'm going to leave it here. I look amazing kitted out in this elven gear. But when we visit the dwarves, hopefully we will be able to stock up on more dwarven gear. Next episode, we will start by raiding this house here. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.